So you're still a celebrate your <laughs> United win. Yo, big side, you know? Big, big side. Big side indeed. Yo, sports fam, welcome back to your favorite sports talk show series, Let's Talk Sports. And you don't know, we're powered by the app that delivers the best in both local and international sporting content. Not like the, what do they call it? Like slow. Slow sports app. Something, something like that, they call it. But anyway, Siobhan and I are here today linking up with another special guest. Yep, and this individual is widely regarded as the greatest T20 cricketers of all time. In fact, we have one of his business locations right here in Kingston. So guys, come, let us get to know and chill with none other than Jamaican and West Indies cricket superstar, Andre Russell. Thanks for accommodating us today and welcome to the show. Now, I mean, as Chev would have stated earlier, you have a huge reputation in the world of cricket, especially in the T20 franchises around the world. I mean, and the records are pretty much there to prove it. Yeah, accolades just to name a few. Uh, consists of basically you being the first uh, bowler to so have taken four consecutive wickets mm -hmm. with four deliveries mm -hmm. back to back in T well in T20 history, right? Yeah. You also the current record holder of the fastest to um to 100 runs from 40 deliveries. 40 deliveries, yeah. All right. There's also the the, the other record I found out recently <laughs> that you have the the record for the fewest balls faced to 1,000 ODI runs. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. So I mean, hey. You're doing your homework. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one. So I mean, the man is basically like the the Cristiano Ronaldo of the world of cricket, yeah? Right. <laughs> Seems like a messy yeah. fan over there. Is a messy I'm a, fan? I'm a Christy fan, but you know, that's like a, the analogy a serious um, thing. <laughs> oh, man, I, I still, mean... I still think we have a long way to go. Okay. But Christy, it's good to be compared in the cricketing field, you know, so respect. Yeah, man, respect. big up, big ups. Today, we're not going to really so much focus on all the, the honors and achievements. Yeah. So we've actually set this up to be a fun Q&A session, you know, to offer some interesting and entertaining insights on pretty much who Andre Russell is and his personality, right? Yeah. Outside of what people would have probably know as yeah, you yeah. Know, Andre Russell, the cricketer. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right, so we're going to just jump right into it. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. So, Andre, I'm going to kick it off with the first question, all right? Yeah. So, what do you want in your business place then now? So, we know say you have it in the pipeline for purchase a T20 franchise. So, we want to know where I'll call it. Ah oh boy, um, to be honest, I have a name right now because you say it first, <laughs> who knows, maybe I have a, my own a T20 franchise in the next couple of years, um, I don't mind even to be partners with you know, some of these owners, um, mm -hmm. you know, I love to be a part of cricket and I think giving back and to also whenever I retire to be around the game, yeah. I think that's going to be good for me as well because a lot of people when they finish playing football or cricket or do athletics, them, they don't know what to do because mm. they basically, you know, lost because most of them life is sports. Yeah. So it would be good to be a part of a franchise, especially being a part owner or a owner. You know what I mean? That would, that would be amazing. Yeah, All look, right. We look out for it in the future. All yeah. right. Yeah. All right. My question now. No, I want you to name three cricketers. Right, that would essentially be the first picks on your all star team. They have to be a batting partner, a bowler, and somebody you would have out there as a feeler. I would say John T. Rhodes as a fielder, it can be past and present, right? Yeah, yeah, it can be past and present. so John T. Rhodes as a fielder because he was a gun fielder, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Um, Batman, I would definitely put my trust in in a Chris Gale and a Pollard right now. Um, right. How they're doing um, outside the Caribbean? I would say A. B. De Villiers, <clears throat> but I'll choose one. 
the universe boss. Um, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, and um, Ebola. Mm -hmm. Why not trust myself? Oh. You know oh. what I mean? Like, I would, I would back myself to bowl six yorkers, but if if, <laughs> if I'm bowling to a Chris Gale or I'm bowling to a, a AB De Villiers, then I would definitely give the ball to Malinga. All right. Yeah, man. Cool, cool. I like the lineup there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I know you mentioned you're a manual fan earlier and you're a Christie fan. Mm -hmm. So if not cricket, what other sports will you be a part of? I would definitely be a, a good goalkeeper. Um, I used to goalkeep for um, Bodles United, yeah. um, Clarendon College. And, you know, I'm, I still mess around when I'm, you know, doing franchise cricket um, around the world. I normally would set up two cones and test the guys to try to score. Most time they don't score none because I'm still good at it. Um, <laughs> I like I, I like the subtleness. <laughs> yeah, but you know, um, I was good, and okay. I, and I rate myself as, you know, a good goalkeeper because um, how I cut my angles, how I do my thing, and you know, being alert as well, and and the transfer into my cricket as well. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, which makes you one of the the, the best all round as well as I have to. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. All right, so the next question I have for you. Now, if you could pick a song as your intro when you're, you're walking out for the bat, which song would it be? Um, I would say the Popcorn Family. What? <laughs> yeah, man, that song there, even till now, if that song should play at mm. any party, it pull up two, three times. There's just something about that song. And I, I, I push myself because of my family. They are my biggest yeah. motivation, so. Mm. Listening to that song, going out to bat or to bowl and hearing family, you know what I mean? That would definitely say, you know what, you can't mess up gotcha. as your family. Good song, good tune, good, good yeah, tune. Alright, All right, so the next question is, so Aaron list a couple of your accolades earlier. Mm. But I want to know, what's your favorite cricket moment so far? Your favorite memory? I have a few. I would, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give three because I've yeah. played so many games and I've done so many things. It's gonna be unfair to say only one. Um, I remember yeah. uh, this game against um, RCB mm -hmm. in IPL. Um, KKR was down and dusted. Mm -hmm. We needed like 56 runs from 20 deliveries. And you know, everyone was, I think I saw people walking out the stadium while oh. Dinesh Karthik get out. I mean, that alone can be demotivating yeah. still. But you know, the, the reaction from Virat Kohli, you know, he was like, he turned to where the, the owners of the KKR team was and they were like, he was pumping and saying, come on, like they already won. And I said, you know what? Anywhere these bowlers bowl, I'm swinging as hard as I can. Because if I get out, then I would say, yeah. But while I'm at the crease, I still believe. Yeah. Makes sense. And Makes we won sense. that game with five deliveries of spirit. Impressive. You know what I mean? Another it? moment. <laughs> Not a Another moment, moment when I'm training. No, 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 no. <laughs> Another moment. Trinidad versus Jamaica Talawas. Yeah. Um, 2018. That was my first CPL game coming back from a one year ban. Right. And um, we were like five wicket for 56 runs, for 57 runs, chasing 220 odd runs. And the, the Trinidad crowd was on top of us. I can imagine. Yeah, it loud and it was... And I get dropped first ball. Mm. And I was batting with Kenar Lewis and I said, yo, I'm still going. Because at that time we needed like 12, 13 runs and over. Yeah. Right. You know, you can't say you're going to give yourself a chance, get a couple of balls. It's either I either. So that's where I get the fastest 100. Mm -hmm. And ah. yeah, I end up scoring 121 of like 50 odd deliveries. So, you know, I don't think that will ever happen so easy again. Right. Um, but it's actually a good thing to, to, to achieve so far where I can, you know, moments like this, I can talk about it. Mm -hmm. My third one was the World Cup semi-final against India, where I scored 40 yard runs. And it was a very important 40 yard runs because going out to bat, we needed 14 runs plus per over. Me and Simmons was batting. And that's a pretty high um, yeah, run rate. Yeah, that's a lot of runs per over. And we got it um, with a couple of deliveries to spare and that leads to winning the World Cup 2016. Oh, so technically you've been like a, a destructive batman, batsman from the, like, the get-go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See ball, eat ball. 
All right. I like that motto there. Now, seeing that we're actually on that topic, if we were to say uh, there's a, a particular cricketer that who would have actually impacted your career or your decision to become um, or pursue cricket as a professional, who would that be? Um, you have a lot of cricketers that motivate me from, mm -hmm. from like, I was like 14, 15. But, you know, joining St. Catherine Cricket Club and seeing a guy like Jermaine Lawson that was there, mm -hmm. you know, playing on the TV, coming back, you know, the, the earrings, the, 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 the gold chains and Oh, the, 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 man was always Mr. Fresh, eh? Yeah, man. So, I can't describe myself no more. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You, you're trying the clean line twice. Or a six time. What? I try to keep it cool. <laughs> but, you know, like, that motivate me to say that someone yeah. who play for the same club. Mm -hmm. And, you know what I mean? He might drive a nice car nice um house where i live and all of that and he's not just achieving stuff he's doing well for west indies right you know what i mean and then going up into the system now start to play with chris gale and then he's now my idol because mm -hmm. to see how humble he is mm -hmm. with all these great achievements and he's still pushing himself to to, to, to to do well for west indies and to play at the highest level so um, I was thinking about to play until I was 40, mm -hmm. but Chris Gill set in the tone now. I want to play until I'm maybe 42, you know what I mean? You never know. Nice. All right, that's, you don't know, big up yourself, universe boss. Like yeah, man. <laughs> All right. I like how you, you seem in tune with the community. Yeah. So that giving back aspect is yeah, really, it's really important, man. Yeah, man. For yeah, man. So the next question will be now. So we all have some favorite places where we like to play football, basketball. So what's your favorite cricket ground that you like to play? All right. I have a few, but you see Sabahina Park? Sabahina Park is... Close to home. Oh my God. Yeah, we're close to the like, heart, man. I can't imagine. The, 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 the loud horn and the, the vibes and yeah. when, you, when you look at six, the DJ always will find some some, some, show, some you know I mean? <laughs> Yeah, man. There's nothing like that. So, I think Sabina Park. I have a lot of grounds that mm -hmm. I love to play at, but Sabina, Sabina Park. Park is yeah, yeah, man. You know, we Jamaicans are uh, yeah, supportive. When our business yeah, on the side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, the next question now. You know, outside of cricket, we're going to touch now. All right. We know you're a man, you travel a lot and things, too, but, you know, during your downtime still, you kind of. Evidently, like you, you relax and all of those stuff. So, what would be like our favorite TV show or series that you would have catch during your downtime? Um, I wasn't a big series guy until mm -hmm. this pandemic. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah, start binge watching only for series. Now. Yeah, man. And I watched the blacklist. You yeah. know, Remy, Remy, at the boss. Elizabeth, <laughs> Remy, so I'm not sure that's it. Well, the season seven now, but it get from a nerve sometime, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you know, like, or, is your Remy cool? Yeah, yeah man. just it, calm and collected. Calm, and then you no, know, my watch the whole of Money Ice. You know, that was yeah, man. That One of the baddest series in yeah, that old stuff. Yeah, bad, bad series. Yeah. All right, uh, some some good selection right there. Yeah. Still, listen, I love watch Family Guy, too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> love watch Family Guy. Still I don't know about Family Guy. Still, young Peter. Quagmire, you know where you go. Yeah, we can get better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Russell, so you, you, you started up this establishment and you're pretty much making a name for yourself in the business industry. So being that this is a food establishment, what is your favorite food that you like to always be cook here and that you eat for the rest of your life? Um, I'm a foodie still, you know, to be honest. Sometimes it's annoying being an athlete where you can't eat certain things and you have to stay on a strict diet but we have to do it for the better you know for ourselves but i love my oxtail i love my curry goat a good barbie jerk chicken mm. you know what i mean like the chef know how to prepare my whenever me say yo me i stop by and more yeah. on this or that yeah, yeah man and them them been doing a good job but you know me love my jamaican mm. food and and thing but I travel a lot, so if me there in there, me have to just adjust. 
or just and just eat the Indian food. Australia are the same thing. So I, I'm not fussy about food. I eat to survive. Yeah, I eat to survive. What was exotic exotic food that you have ate? <laughs> Why? You know, so like the troubles I'm carrying all over the place once and I want to stick it. Yo, I eat all sort of things still, you know, like... Alright, I went to South Africa and, I, and um, I went on this game reserve thing and I mm. shoot a blue wildebeest. A right? wildebeest? A wildebeest, yeah. And wow. um, after that, them cut out the, the, the heart. Yeah. And I have a bite piece. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! No, Rasta. Um, sorry, so, pass one out. So you, know, say, you know, strong, you know. All right, here we go. We chase the little robot. All right, so we're gonna come back to the food, then, but no, is it? <laughs> so, all right, you have four options, but one of them half a good. Then, oxtail, curry goats, fried chicken, mm -hmm. and stew peas. Which one out of the four you know you gonna do away with? But I want to look like it's a tough question. I love stew peas. <laughs> so, alright, so who knows that stew peas can't be that? Alright. Fried chicken. Come on, come on, mate. I'm saying love stew peas. I've already mentioned the oxtail yeah, and curry, but you don't say fried chicken. Yeah, I'm fried chicken. Alright. Kind of just switch the conversation now. So the West Indies cricket team, right? You know, mm -hmm. the majority of the Jamaicans are full of vibes. Mm -hmm. So I want to know who will bring the most vibes in our dressing room. Um, honestly, when you talk about West Indies team now, you see, because all of us come from come different from islands yeah. and things, everybody look at things different, they have a different vibes. But you see, Dwayne Bravo. <laughs> DJ <laughs> Bravo. <laughs> him always a sing and a dance and a do him thing. And it, it's it's good for the for the the environment most right. time because especially the build up of the game right? yeah um you have a couple other guys where from time to time them will come with them you know crack a joke and do all kind of mm. things but we, we we are a together team and it doesn't matter where you're from or which island you know them kind of everybody born at the right time but going out on the field we try to be focused especially if we have a bat yeah you find the batsman them not really you not know, talking and it's good because you know you want to be focused, focused. but sometimes when you when you relax, it's it, it kind of help a bit. Kind of help. Yeah, yeah. Man, ease the nerves. Them yeah, man. sometimes take over the whole, the whole if mental you're, thing. If you look on an athlete like you say, in the, the relaxing, it yeah. work for him. Yeah, yeah, antics did work before yeah. he start. So mm -hmm. it's good, it's good for relax. Yeah. All right. Cool. Now, next question is: If there was one particular attribute that you could take from a cricketer. Whether it be past or present, who would that cricketer be and what attribute would it be that you would attack from? Um, I would say Viv Richards. Mm -hmm. You know, the, 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 the way he was so confident and. Yeah, man. You Viv, know, Viv, they're always full of confidence. Yeah, man. Yeah. Always full of confidence. I mean, even when the man talk you now today, yeah, yeah I say, oh, this brother just calm and collected. Make it look easy. Make right? it look so easy, yeah? yeah. Feel like him doing another batting crease and just like, I'm a little six there, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and well. That's what confidence brings, you know. And even when even for me batting, mm -hmm. just before I go to the crease, I run out to the crease. Yeah. So when bowlers see me running out, yeah. them like they just know say you know, it's a boundary. It's a boundary. I like how you mentioned that running out to the crease because I want to know which bowler you're always eager to lick six sixes after the six ball in. So slap them away. Alright, I would say spin bowlers. I look to target spin bowlers. You know, mostly mm -hmm. whenever I'm batting. Like if it's a desperate situation um, and a fast bowler is bowling. I naturally look to, to, to get boundaries. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who the bowler is or how good they is. Right. But you see when spinners are bowl, especially if the wicket is not really spinning or doing anything, mm -hmm. murder. Yeah murder. man. Like me just want to go at everyone. Just like what Paula did the other day. Yeah. I call him and I tell him, yo, you know, well done, brother. You know what I mean? Send him to a voice note as well. Tell him, I'm so happy that someone in the Caribbean is a recent 
older of the six sixes thing because yeah. you know you Raj and Urshal Gibbs have right. done it before and you know I'm, I feel proud to be on the field with the captain and yeah. he's setting the tone so right. you know being um, in that position definitely I think spinners when the ball is not turning mm -hmm. spinners should feel it ah uh, yeah one most definitely mm -hmm. all right so we know you as a man obviously you, 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 you love music because you also, well, what most people probably won't know is that Dre Russ is also a recording artist. Is it? Yep. So, if we're going to talk about top five songs right now that you would have on your playlist, a bump to and a vibe to in your car, which five songs would those be? Mm. Listen to. Yeah, listen pretty much to, everything. Listen to everything. Yeah, well, you can't whether hip hop, um, dance, or anything. Alright. You have a new skilly bang where like. A hat? No, no hat. Oh. The plane just the crashed with it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. The plane just crashed with the thing, you know? Alright. Yeah, man. And then, um, you know, me have a couple of chronicle, you mm -hmm. know, when me. Like listen, right through. Yeah. Um this song when we did era play we like just now. Well, I think uh, his name is Yaksta. Yeah man. Yaman. Excuse me, no pagans. Now nah, seek validation. Never. That Big song there. I listen every day since me hear it, like a week ago now. Yeah. And me even do a thing on my Instagram about it, saying that these are the songs that should actually be going number one and number this and in the top ten yeah, because it's a, it's a powerful message and delivering other songs. Man. Man. But them songs don't really get the kick where them should Kick get. Mm. Are the gun song and the bad man song them always ago and the crime and all of this in Jamaica. I eat a mash up the sweet sweet country. So true, true. If me I do music, me always try to get positive things across because you know. I'm tired, tired of the rifle song them and even the music video them manning up with big gun in it. Yeah man, I real thing. You know, I, I fully agree still. So, yeah, man. people, make sure you say check that out on the D Music office. All of them songs on this list, every one of them you can find in it. So, All good right. plug right there. <laughs> good plug, one good plug. So, I want to know. So, you mentioned the earring, the gold chain, the house, mm -hmm. the cinematic outside. What's your most favorite thing? That you have bought for yourself in your cricket career since uh, you've been successful. I think we know the answer to that one already. Said, but I give you a chance. <laughs> give you a chance. I would say a house. The house. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Because I figured more or less because boy, I also look like it's a it's like a wonderland. But <laughs> I was bad still. Yeah, man. Um, me, me, me like cars too, but I would definitely say that house because. Mm -hmm. You know, where you, where, you, where you rest and when you're home, you know that, all right, yeah, you're comfortable and all of that. Mm. I'm, I'm into modern houses. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? And it, it, if, you, if you see the house, yeah. as you say, you see it, <laughs> um, it we try to make it as modern as possible. Right. I um, mean, I saw the, 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 is it, is that, is that a Formula One car set up you have in the house? But this one, like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it's all over your IG page, but bro, like yeah, man, that, that thing is crazy that still. Bad, the simulator. That bad, yeah man. Yo, peep. That trust me. <laughs> are the first first to say a Formula One simulator in anybody's house. Yeah man. The thing bad. Bad. It's a guy here actually um, make it still enough. Yeah? Yeah man. The guys them I think um Jamaica fiberglass, something nice of them. Oh, oh. Yeah. All right. yeah, well, you know. I like, like that to say I support the local. Yeah man. It's actually yeah, one man. of my dreams though to Drive on an Indus 500 racetrack. Must oh, get yeah. it done, man. Must get it done. Well, with your driving skill, man. Uh, must well, get it done on the speed, man. <laughs> man. Must get it done. Alright. So, we're jumping for the next question now. The option is either not bowl for an entire CPL T20 match or not bat for an entire CPL T20 match. Which would it be? Not bowl. Alright, kind of love the boundaries them in here, man. Half a bunch. <laughs> I definitely can say that has to be the option. I mean, because as I say, you one of the the, the the things that you're known for is being a very destructive batsman. You know, in the world of cricket, that's a very big accolade. Because you have what Vivian Richards, as you mentioned, was yeah. also considered a destructive bat batsman, yeah. right? Um so I mean 
with that context of it, I can easily see the option of not bowling for an entire CPL T20. And the thing is, even the reaction on the street, sometimes when people stop me on the street or we're having a great conversation, sometimes people come to the restaurant, sit down and like, you just go by the table and I have a conversation. Mm. Them not talk to me about my bowling. <laughs> that is true. You know what I mean? It's all about my batting. Like, yo, you're so strong. You hit the sixes, them, like, it's powerful, all these things. I mean, say, but my bowl 90 miles per hour, though. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody don't want to hear about that. Nobody don't want to hear, you know, like, I my, get you. my bowl good yorkers. I think I'm a good dead bowler yeah. in T20. But people overlook that by my batting performances. And I appreciate it still, you know, I mean, I'll be yeah. ungrateful because. Yeah. It's good that you are better at one, mm -hmm. but I never finish practice until I bowl a couple of balls. So if I bat, yeah. I try and bowl a few deliveries, um, I feel better. Even yeah. if I don't catch a ball, but I feel better. But don't just go to practice and bowl or just bat alone. Right. I always try, try to, to do bowl. All around and... Okay, makes yeah. sense. All right, so I'm going to throw a scenario your way, all right? Mm. Your batting partner just got bowled out. You need 50 runs from 25 balls. And you have to choose between Brian Lara, Sir Vivian Richard, and George Hedley. Who are you going with? How much runs more? Yeah, 50 runs. You need 50 runs from 25, 25 balls. And yeah, it's them, with them, between them three, they're left as a batting partner. Who would you choose? Can't okay, call Sir Hedley, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Edley with him close, close stance. There's <laughs> yeah, so another point that you need somebody you need where somebody to go. Attack yeah, the yeah. ball. Yeah. All right. Definitely. I would choose Brian Lara, even though Sir Viv is a power hitter and also someone that I mentioned before that right. motivate me. I'm talking about no. This question is about no. Right. Right. <laughs> Brian Lara is more recent mm -hmm. than Serviv. Right. And I'm not saying they are going to be batting in the situation still that you are saying, like, live, you know. Right. But just judging that 50 and runs of mm -hmm. 20 delivery. Yeah, based on their reputation. Yeah, based on their reputation. Serviv used to be destructive, but I don't think that, you know, he would be, he would get that. I would think Brian Lara is more skillful. Pick and the gap. Base. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All of that. And if I should be on the non striker end, I would love to watch Brian Lara at the other end. Yeah. Because he still play proper cricket shot. You, you're watching the um the legend cricket that they're playing in India? No way. Yeah, they're playing some road safety thing now. And Brian Lara he still look like. Look like he could have played. Look like yeah. him, just, <laughs> him just leave the game. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Need to take him that because apart, that's come like a part of the March Madness then. With yeah, so much things are going on in March. Yeah. Grammy, All Star, take it in. Yeah, we should, we should definitely. So, it's not a question for you. All right. Name one cricket record that you would essentially like to 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 retire with. All right. I always want to hit six sixes in an over. Um, I've had a few hat tricks before, um, and I have one. What do you call that one? Bureva Brick, Bureva Brick, Shar, whatever they call that name. Four wicket in four deliveries. Yeah. I have that before, so I would want to hit six sixes in an over. Six sixes in an over. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm known for, for hitting sixes and, and yeah. boundaries, so... That would be quite a, a feat, yeah, man? Yeah. Can you imagine the stunts? Yeah, me a, <laughs> me a bowler and a man hit six, six, six out of my deliveries, I mean. Yeah, me just... Walk out for the Just walk out for the field. You know what I mean? You realise what happened the other day? The guy get an attrick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get an attrick, you know, and then get hit to six sixes. <laughs> You might so, see a man get the hat trick. Go for six. Hold on, hold on. I was able to get this right for people who that understand the cricket terms. And so he got on a hat trick by yeah. taking out three cricketers, yeah. the three consecutive deliveries. Three. And then in a one over, one man slap with six and ball for sixes. Six. Yeah, talk about talk about a turn of events, man. 
Yes. Six, six, six. <laughs> Things just happen so quick. Now. That's what I like about the game of cricket, you know. Mm. It's ever changing and you can't get too complacent because sometimes down to the last ball can make a difference. Yes, man. Man, a real thing. Yes, man. A real thing. Especially in T20 cricket. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sometimes your ball are wide and that wide come back to haunt you. Yeah. You, you, you misfeel a ball, then come back for a second run instead of a one. Right. And you know what I mean? If they if they if they set in a target and them end up say 158 instead of 157, and then you end up lose by one. Mm. You know. Yeah. It can yeah yeah. So every, everything comes. Everything comes. Yeah. Everything comes. All right. All right. So yeah, kind of wrap up. We are going to the end. Mm -hmm. Your prime minister come on TV tomorrow now and say yo. Restriction lift, so well, COVID I'm, done. And I hear Prime Minister. Yeah, no matter what I hear is the one. <laughs> COVID done now, everything. Restrictions lifted. What's the first thing that you're going to do? Keep on the biggest part of your SSD20. We need that, honestly. Like, we yeah, need man. that. People, people yeah. right now under, under a whole heap of madness. You know, the, the yeah. pandemic, our body is being pooped up in a house. Uh, hey. I mean, I can say that anybody who pretty much had the opportunity to keep the first party as soon as possible. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Make a killing. Make a killing. And it's not just it's not just about doing a party for me and making money. It's just for, it's like just to feel good again. Like you can do bad things. Yes. Like, yeah. And it will be something that's long overdue for a lot of people to do. Besides, I mean, outside of the, the stresses and, and everything that people go through. You know, yeah. look at enjoyment. This is something that I'm pretty sure that I'll be looking forward to. Alright. Exactly. And with that said, we're going to finish it up with identifying what are a few of your personal goals that you'd like to achieve in this year, 2021. First, I have IPL coming up in a month time. Um, I would definitely look to, 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 to better what I did last year because I had a rough IPL. You know, I even got injured and you know, things things wasn't good for right. me. You know what I mean? I want to make sure that I go back to to being um, close to the MVP, mm -hmm. you know, status. And also, World Cup is coming up. It's also a big thing for me, yeah. personally. Um, we are the defending champions. And if I can contribute again mm -hmm. to helping West Indies win the World Cup, you know, what I mean, I'll be happily coming back to the Caribbean with, you know, my third World Cup. So, yeah. um, I'm sure everybody will be looking forward to that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and we definitely have the have the team, right? To, to to do it. I just think that we just need to start banding together. Um, I was on a video call live with the guys the other night when they were celebrating, um, and it was a good vibe. I wasn't there, and they 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 sound like they miss me. And it's good to know that your teammate said that yo Russ we win the series, but I hope next time you'll be around. Good. Yeah. I can I can see where all of those actually come into play. Uh, and and those more than seem achievable. Yeah. You know, so hope you definitely have a great twenty twenty one so yeah. especially yeah. where Kick is concerned, yeah? Yeah man. Alright. As you say, you know you have IP coming up in a in a month time. So all the best with that. And of course Guys, catch the boss on the sports box up. Alright guys, that's a wrap. Yo Russ, big ups, mad respect again for taking time out of your busy schedule for coming here and just chilling with us. You know, all our reason and thing, get to know you a little bit better. Alright, I want also big up to the Russell's T20 restaurant and sports bar team. I mean peeps, if you ever feel like you want to get out, you know, you want to look a good food, you want you know, look a relaxing environment, definitely come and check them out. And we're also giving away today a Jamaica Tolawa support jersey signed by, of course, the boss himself, Mr. Russell. And all you have to do is simply be the first to correctly answer the questions below in the caption. Most importantly, remember to download the Sportsmax app for your premium access to all your favorite sports anywhere, anytime, on the go, with dedicated data from your digital prime bundle. Sportsmax app, simply, simply more sports. sports.